What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're rocking out with a Shadow Rider Calyrex and Storm Drain Gastron team for Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Shadow Rider Calyrex, this Pokemon is already super strong on the Ranked Ladder. We're pairing it up with the move Nancy Plot, trying to boost its special attack and getting going from there. This Calyrex is rocking the As-1 ability alongside with the Leftovers as an item. Furthermore, it has Nasty Plot like we already mentioned, Draining Kiss with that Fairy Terror type for HP recovery, then we got Protect and Astro Barrage for big time stab damage. Like I already mentioned, we have Storm Drain Gastron on today's team and I absolutely love this Pokemon, especially when going up against Kyogre Rain Team. We got the Citrus Berry as its item, we got Earth Power, we got Ice Beam, we got Yawn, and we got Protect. Love this moveset for Gastron, can't really go wrong with it. Other Pokemon on today's team feature Grimmsnarl and Incineroar. Incineroar, we don't even need to talk about, and Grimmsnarl is here for screens. We love Grimmsnarl in Rank Regulation G. We also have Urshifu on today's team with the Choice Scarf, making it outspeed Pokemon. And on top of that, it just does so much damage, it's Urshifu. And our last Pokemon is going to be Indeedee. Now, this Indeedee is different from most other Indeedees, considering it has synchronized its ability rather than Psychic Surge. It also has Fake Out. Really cool. I actually like this Indeedee set. We're going to be trying it out. Maybe faking out an opponent, setting up Nasty Pot with Calyrex, and getting after it that way. Guys, you want to rent the team for yourself? Rental code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, make sure you leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match using this Calyrex and Storm Drain Gashadon team. Hopping into our first match, and we are going up against a Miraidon team. Now, this Miraidon team, pretty cool with Dragapult, Fire Ogre Pond. They also have Prankster Murkrow, Iron Threads, and Avalug. Really dope team right here, but who should we lead and how should we get after it? Um, I could go into these two Pokemon in DD and Shadow Rider Calyrex and maybe just fake out and set up a nasty plot if we want to. That's not a bad call. I actually kind of like that call. So I'm going to end up going into both of them and getting after it that way. I do like our Intimidate Incineroar and probably Choice Scarf Urshifu for this battle. Yeah, that's something I really like. This is a pretty easy team for us to pick up against. I don't really have any water type Pokemon, so I don't have to worry about uh bringing Storm Drain Gastron, and then who else did we bring? I totally forget the last one, but I like the squad that we have. Rolling in with Incineroar, Urshfu, we got Fake Out and Didi ready to go, turn one. Let's see how this one plays out. They're gonna end up leading Miraidon and Dragapult, so we're definitely faking out this Miraidon. Um, I think I might just Terrastalize my, uh, I might just Terrastalize my Calyrex just in case a Dragon Shot is going to come across here. But I could just Astro Barrage and get a special attack boost from that. And honestly, I think that's my play. I think that's definitely my play. We fake out the Miraidon. Um, do we still want Terrastalize? Yeah, just in case this thing Sash. And we're just going to throw an Astro Barrage. We're just throwing Astro Barrages around. Instead of setting up a nice spot, this is just a fine turn for me to just go into Astro Barrage and start chipping up damage. But, indeed, he faking out. Big time plays for us. How often do you see that? Not too often, right? I actually kind of like the fake out on this team with Indeedy. It's pretty nice. But it just protects the Miraidon. Smart little protect there. Hopefully you're going for a dragon move into my Calyrex. That would be nice. Fake out's going to get blocked. The fake out gets blocked. And you're going for a dragon cheer. This thing's critting. This is looking scary. This is looking real scary. Can we one-shot this Dragapult though? Can we please one-shot this Dragapult? I might want to. Do I want to pop a Trick Room? Do I want to pop a trick? That's the real question. Are you sashed? You are sashed. The focus sash is going to fly through here. Um, you can't hit me with dragon moves. You can't hit me with electric moves. Which is kind of scary. But I think follow me is just to play here. And we just throw an Astro Blast here again. Yep, I'm cool with that. So Dragon Pull outspeeds me right now. Follow me is going to be good because chances are he's going for Electro Drift, I would think. And it's just guaranteed critting. And that's looking real scary. That's looking real scary. So we kind of have to deal with this Mirai. We have to deal with this Mirai. It's it's boosted with critical hits, and it, it's looking scary. Man. It's looking scary. Actually, Gastron could have been a good call here up against Mirai. I'm just having that ground type so Electric can't hit it. Would have been real nice. But we're going to end up seeing a Terra type pop out here from probably Mirai, correct? Is that a fairy Mirai, most likely? That's going to be fire, which uh, I don't mind. I don't mind a little fire Terra. So Fire Terror pops out here. I'm cool with that. Let's see what they end up doing. We go for Follow Me. And Dragon Pulse should go first. I'm just hoping my Calyrex outspeeds this Miraidon. But Miraidon's fast. Ends up trying to go for a Sucker Punch. It's going to fail. 
you are failing and we do outspeed which is good so we're gonna take out dragapult here we're gonna get a plus one boost furthermore we're gonna start doing some damage onto the ride on not enough not what i wanted on my ride on the ride on actually soaks decently well so again chances are he's going for an electro drift here which getting a little scary and now you go for an overheat that's fine you're just dropping your special attack but it's critting right yeah so overheat with all the crits actually pretty solid you don't have to worry about special attack drops So, me right on sitting here, uh, we could just bring out our fake out user, and that's most likely what we want to do. Let's just bring out our fake out user. Or I could just bring out Urshfu and hit through protects. Oh, 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 yes, yes, that's exactly what we want to do. That's exactly what we wanted to do. Surging strikes into the slot. Oh, we're teeing up on it. Oh, but you can outspeed me after, oh, after Tailwind. We don't like that one bit. We don't like that one bit. I could just go for an Aqua Jet. I am just going to go into an Aqua Jet. We're going to go for Aqua Jet. We are just going to go for Draining Kiss here. And we're going to attack the Smurkrow. Oh, man. This is looking scary. I was not expecting Murkrow. I want to come in here and just certain strikes. But Aqua Jet going to fly here. It does some nice damage. Another Aqua Jet will KO, which is good. And he's going to try to quash my Urshfu. Well, this actually works out fine. Now I get to go for Drain and Kiss. I should KO you, correct? I don't. I do not KO you. The Draco Meteor is going to fly here. I'm not going to die here. So, I mean, Aqua Jet was definitely in our best interest. And now I can just go into Incineroar here. It's a good matchup. It's a good matchup. So now I can have Fake Out ready to go. I think I have to Fake Out the Murkrow. I'm not even going to lie to you guys. I think I'm going to Fake Out the Murkrow. It's actually Cover. It's probably Cover Cloak, right? It's probably Cover Cloak. Like, what item could you possibly have? I'm gonna do this. I am gonna throw an Astro Barrage across the board. And I'm gonna hope that this can just KO this uh this Miraidon. But I think Miraidon might just protect. Yeah, it does protect. It does protect. We just don't really want him getting off Tailwind, right? That's the main problem. That's why I want to fake out the Murkrow. So no Tailwind's allowed. And it's not Cobra Cloak, that's big time, because Astro Barrage now finish it off. We know our Calyrex outspeeds the Miraidon, and we should be able to take it out with an Astro Barrage. So not a bad match so far. The Miraidon's been scaring me, but we've been playing it pretty well, trying to keep it under control, right? We're trying to just neutralize the turns. And it's kind of been the same thing on each side. Like, they have a really strong Pokemon, pretty much bulked up with all crits, and we have a boosted Shadow Rider Calyrex. So they're trying to keep my Calyrex under control. We're trying to keep them under control, and their final Pokemon's going to be Avalon. Which I don't mind. This thing is going to have the electric seeds, giving it just a defense boost, but I got special attackers on the field. Um, I think our best thing to do here is probably just go for like a will o -Wisp into this thing. And then just go for another Astro Barrage. Yeah, I mean, plus two Astro Barrage should be able to KO, and you have Wide Guard. Just lost me the game. Just lost me the game. Love it. Love it. Love it. They're going to go for an overheat and just dump all my Calyrex. Wide Guard. I hate this move, man. I feel like this move's been doing me dirty in recent videos. Wide guard. Overheat flies through here. It's going to be guaranteed to crit. Can you survive it? No shot, right? <laughs> no shot. GG's to our opponent, man. Wide guard. Are you kidding me? Wide guard. I hate it, man. I hate it. Just as we think we have a, we have a hot shot at winning this battle. Wide guard comes out of here, but now we can just Draco Meteor. Our only way of winning this would be like to KO with knockoff and him to miss a Draco Meteor. That would be the only way. But wide guard, are you kidding me, man? Wide guard. Hadron engine's gone though, but huh? We're still gonna go for this knockoff here. Wide guard, just what I wanted, man. <laughs> there goes Draco Meteor. That's probably one shot me, right? No, we end up surviving. Beautiful knockoff. Can you KO? You hope. Oh. What up? Wait a minute. You're rock type, aren't you? I believe you might be rock and ice. I have a look. You are burned, though. You are, you are burned, though. And you have body press. You're never dead. All day. Wide guard, man. God dang it. Wide guard. I should have probably doubled down into that, what's it called, last turn instead of going for a will o -Wisp. But it is what it is. We start off 0 1. So, guys, the dreaded move, wide guard, gets us again. 
hate that move so much, but honestly, we probably should have protected our Calyrex the turn before it died to waste out the last turn of Electric Train. You kind of read out what they're doing, but I kind of got ahead of myself. It's all good. We're on one. We're going up against a full beat team, and I'm pretty sure full beat learns Prankster, so that could be a little scary. Alongside with Shadow Rider Calyrex, Clefairy, Amoongus, and last but not least, they do have Ogre Pond. So from here, I could potentially just set up screens. I mean, screens are going to be awesome for us. I actually do really like them, so I am going to end up leaving a Pokemon like Grimmsnarl. So I'm going to lead Grimmsnarl, and I am also going to re lead Shadow Rider Keller. So I just think it's a smart play for us. We go into both of them. We can get after it. They have no fake out users, which is great. And Volpe, I don't know why, it just kind of seems like a Pokemon that could set up screens. I feel like it do a lot. But I like this lead right here with Grimmsnarl and Calyrex. And then in the back end, we can bring Gastron. Actually, mm, do I want Gastron? Yeah, I mean, it kind of deals with Raging Bolt as well. And last but not least, we can just go into Incineroar. I like it. I get down with that. So that's going to be the squad here. Gastron getting some love in here in match number two. Trying to set up screens. Trying to get bulky. When Gastron can always yawn. The only Pokemon that I'm scared of is going to be like a Horn Leech coming out from, uh, from Ogre Pond. But if any Ivy Cuddles comes through here, we get a free special attack boost due to its Storm Drain ability. But we're 0 1. We need to grab ourselves a win here. Let's see who they end up leading. What you got? It's gonna be Volby and Amoongus. So okay, okay, that's kind of scaring me. That's kind of scaring me. So you can spore me. I mean, I could just protect here. I am gonna set up a screen. I kind of want a nasty plot to be honest, but I can't. But I cannot. I simply cannot. So I am going to just maybe parting shot out of here. I mean, you don't really strike me as somebody who really does much. Hmm. Spore scaring me, man. I'm gonna like spore. Um, I kind of have to get out and more. I think I'm gonna go for a party shot. What? What? What do I do here? What? What? Full beat. What are you? What are you like trying to do here? That's my real question. What? Are, what, are, what is Volby trying to do here? I'm gonna party shot into Volby. I'm just gonna protect. Um, Mook is just here to put me to sleep. Correct. Makes no sense. And Volby's gonna tailwind, shake its butt. Look at that thing, little bug, shaking its butt. I like it. I get down with that. I get down with that. We're gonna end up party shotting. We're out of here. Full beat special attack is gonna drop. And we're gonna go into Incineroar. I'm gonna go straight into Incineroar. My boy. Incineroar, I can fake out and then maybe set up an A spot. Could be gorgeous for us. Help us out a little bit. And please show me that you're sporing uh, Calyrex here. Yeah, you are. Okay, so that's a good call for us to kind of. Kind of switch things up a little bit, but they do get off the tail, which is kind of, kind of scary. Now from here, I am going to just fake out you, and I'm going to go for the Nasty Pot boost. I'm going to go for the Nasty Pot boost here while Fake Out's on the field. They could swap Volby. Volby could do something else. Not too sure what it's doing, but Fake Out is going to make the same flinch. He's going to go for a Tail Glow. A little bit of Tail Glow going to boost its special attack drastically. Really cool move, but I'm boosting my special attack too. Don't think you're the only one. Don't think you're the only one, Volby. Do you not think you're the only one? This thing's gonna boost special attack again with Mirror Herb? Oh, no. Oh, no. You better calm down, Volbeat. You have, like, Baton Pass? What are you doing here? What are you doing here, Volbeat? You're plus four. What are you? You have to have Baton Pass. You have to have Baton Pass. You have to have Baton Pass. But, you know, we're gonna double down to this move because we really don't want to go to sleep. Um... I'm just going to launch an Astro Barrage. I'm going to just launch an Astro Barrage. You have to have Baton Pass. This thing's scaring me at this point. He's going to go for a Rage Powder. Are you attacking me? What are you doing, Volby? You are scaring me. You do have Baton Pass. That's fine. That's fine. So he's going to swap to a Pokemon. Give it plus four special attack. We are throwing an Astro Barrage, which is good. Got a double hit. Kind of go through this Rage Powder. I mean, get after it that way. You go to Calyrex. Calyrex is dead unless it's Sash. Calyrex is dead unless it's sashed. It's plus four, though. Which is looking scary. But you are dead unless you're sashed. Please don't be sashed. Let me just take you out. Let me just take you out. Let me have a little bit of fun. Let me just take you out. You're sashed. But we get rid of Amoongus. We get rid of Amoongus, which is good. We get a crit on it. It's not really like it mattered. And actually, you're dead, Calyrex. This works. This works fine. We go for knockoff now. All right. So, pretty cool combo from them. But it's not working out. It's not working out. Knockoff's going to finish you off, and we're just thriving out here in match number two. I like the idea, though. I like the little tail glow butt wiggle. And I like the baton pass, but you shouldn't have baton pass into Calyrex that turn, right? 
You see me plus two, chances are I'm going for an Astro Blast. But even plus two, it was just a bad play on their end. Volby comes back out here. I'm kind of liking this Pokemon a lot since it, since it uh, shook its butt. And then they got Lefairy. So their whole plan here was to just go into support Pokemon and, and keep the Calyrex live. But we took Calyrex out, no problem, in one shot. And they probably cancel match, right? Yep, they cancel match. We're one and one. Let's go try to use Gaston in match number three. Moving on to our final match, and we are sitting one and one. And of course, we're not going up against any Kyogre teams in today's video, but we are going up against Miraidon and Landorus. Honestly, Gastron going to be good up against both of those. It's got Ice Beam. It's got Earth Power. It, it is uh, immune to electric moves. That's going to be pretty solid. But from here, they do have Wimscott, which is kind of an annoying Pokemon. I might just want to set up screens here. I think screens could be in our best interest, so I honestly am just going to go into Grimmsnarl turn 1, alongside with maybe Choice Scarf Urshfu. That could be a play. Choice Scarf Urshfu, or I could just go into straight Gastrodon. We could go into straight Gastrodon. I don't think they're going to lead Volbum, and if they do, I mean, we could just hard swap into a different Pokemon, such as Incineroar, who I am going to end up going into, just because I like its typing here. I like knockoff damage onto, like, Metagross, onto, uh... That's pretty much it, but <laughs> I like I like the fake outs here as well. So I gotta watch out for Roboom. Hopefully they don't bring in Roboom because then if not, my Gastron can pretty much thrive here. But we are going to lead screens. We just want to make our team as bulky as possible while they potentially just set up Tailwind for their squad. I actually like our lead here. A little bit of Gastron action, a little bit of screens action. Again, as long as Roboom's not lead, we should be fine with this lead. And of course, since I said that, Roboom's gonna come out here, correct? Is that a correct statement? It's not. Let's go. Okay, so that doesn't come out yet. Uh, they got Metagross coming out. Uh, I gotta set up a Reflect here. I gotta set up a Reflect turn one, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. And on top of that, I think I'm just gonna drop an Earth Power. Right into the Metagross slot. Just place one simple. So they're gonna tail one set up. We're gonna set up a Reflect. You could be going for a Meteor Mash, Bullet Punch. But I got Reflect, so Grimstone should be able to soak up this first shot at least. And he's gonna go for Stealth Rock, so he sets up a Rocks. So swapping in now is going to be a little bit of pain in the neck for us. Luckily, we have no Sash Pokemon, so it's not going to take off over Sash. Earth Power going to fly, and Gastron getting off some nice damage early on here. Getting off some nice damage. And from here, honestly, we might just want to double down into Wimscott. And I am going to do that. I can set a Blight Screen another turn. We're not going to die out this turn, which is good. We'll see Helping Hand fly out here. That's cool. Grip Snarl should be able to eat up whatever shot you have to offer. Maybe not that. Can you guys soak this? We have Reflect up. Yeah, we soak. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. That's fine by me. That's totally fine by me. Now I can set up the other screen next turn. Explosion. <laughs> really? <laughs> I love it, though. I love it. I got a Barry 2 in my Gashon. Gashon got a little hungry there. It's going to eat up. Go up to about 150, 149 to be exact. Um, And Spirit Break and Ice Beam just going to miss. So not bad turns for us. I mean, we have Reflect set up. We're probably going to set up Light Screen next turn, depending on what Pokemon they th throw out here. And as long as Rule Boom's not here, I like where my Gastron stands. I do like where my Gastron stands. And there's going to be Rhydon. Show me no Rule Boom. Show me no Rule Boom. I hate this game, man. I don't like this game at all. I don't like it one bit. I don't like this game, but we're going to set up Light Screen. We're just going to protect our Gastron this turn, make life a bit easier for us. Um... Our best bet might be Terrasalize and Gastron. And maybe... Yawning. Into, like, the ride on here. But for now, again, I want to get off this light screen. I want to make sure it gets off. And I just want to protect it. I just want to protect it. They might fake out Grimstraw and stop light screen, but... I doubt it. I think they would rather go for Gastron here. Yeah. So, we get off our light screen, no problem. And they're going to go for Dazzle Gleam to finish off the Grimmsnarl. Not going to lie, this... This what's called is looking pretty good. This, uh... This Gashon's looking pretty good. I mean, I'm definitely going to go into Fire Terror with Gashon. It's in my best interest. Now, the real question is, do I want to bring out... Do I want to bring out Incineroar? Just to fake out? Because Fake Out's going to force them to protect. It's just going to force them to protect. I could throw a Will-O-Wisp into, like, Incineroar here. And I think that's better for us. I think that's better for us. I think we Terrasalize Gastron into Fire here. 
And instead of faking out, we will o wisp Because if I fake out here and try to yawn that Miraidon and it protects, they just get a free turn. So I'd rather throw a will o wisp into this slot, and I'd rather go for a yawn with the Terror. Don't forget the Terror, Jeans. Cannot forget the Terror. And I know P Pokemon cannot go to sleep in this electric train, and it actually it switched to grass, so that's even better. I was going to say, but I believe Miraidon isn't touching the ground. I don't know. Is it considered touching the ground? I didn't terrestrialize. I didn't terrestrialize. What am I doing? What am I doing? I didn't terrestrialize. But I survived. Cool. Thank you, Light Screen. Alright, I, I lucked out there. I lucked out there. I didn't terrestrialize. Because I went back and I looked at it. I was going to look at the rain. And it canceled out my t Terra. But everything works out fine. Genius' plan works out perfectly. I would have been so upset if we lost that one. But thank you, Reflect. Thank you, Light Screen. Helping us out tremendously. We now have Burn. We have Yawn onto both these guys. I mean, it's a simple protect from Gastron for me. And then... We might want to trash slice Gastron after that. I'm going to put him to sleep. I am just going to go for a parting shot. Let's make this one simple. And we'll protect. They probably cancel battle anyway. I would. No, they don't. Now we just protect the Gastron. We put a nice wall up. I'm going to trash slice an extra because Miraidon's going to be asleep. And furthermore, Incineroar cannot KO us if we trash slice fire. Electro Drift doing like zero damage. And Woodhammer going to fly through here. And we're blocking it. All day. All day. Do I go for the fire terror? I have to. You're minus two. You're minus two and you're burned. I have to go for the fire terror. We have to keep Gastron alive. We have to keep Gastron alive. So right now I'm not worried about Incineroar. I'm more worried about me riding on catching an early sleep. But I'm just going to go into Calyrex here. Get a little Calyrex action going on. Calyrex. Yeah. We got my two dogs out here. Little slug and horse. The slug horse combo. Or slug, whatever you want to call it. But Celtrax gonna fly into me. I get back a little bit of HP from my Gastro here. I got leftovers too, so Calyrex just taking those stones for pretty much nothing. And I'll get back some HP from Gastro. He's up to 42. And yeah, I'm just gonna terrestrialize Gastro at this point. I'm gonna say night night to me ride on. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't believe that I almost lost the game by not tearing. Or terrestrializing. Um, from here, I mean, we should just throw an Astro Barrage across the board, and we're going to terrestrialize you finally and go for an Earth Power into Miraidon. They haven't canceled Battle yet. They haven't given up. I mean, this Robe is pretty much dead, right? It's doing negative six damage, minus two on attack, with the burn on top of that. And now we finally terrestrialize our lovely Gashadon. Just so we can get off another turn here. Yep, there's Grass Glad. You soaked that all day. That just did five damage to us. Poor Rillaboom. Poor Rillaboom. Astro Blast flies through here. He's gonna chip up some nice damage onto both of them. Um, can Earth Power finish off this Mirai? I think it can. My Gastrodon does not play around. It does not play around. Earth Power coming out here. And actually, this thing's pretty bulky. It's pretty bulky. I'm not gonna sit here and lie. I'm gonna hope that it's asleep for one more turn. And if it is, that's going to be game because another Astro Blast will finish him off. And that Rillaboom did less damage than this terrain gave me back in HP. So we'll rip another. Actually, we'll switch. No, we'll go for another Astro Blast just so we finish off the Rillaboom. We'll go for another Earth Power. This Miraidon is Miraidon's actually pretty bulky, so. We got this match pretty much on lockdown anyway. But Astro Blast flies through here. Bop, 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 bop. See you later, roll boom. Another Earth Power. We'll finish off this Miraidon. I'm hoping it's sleep. Fingers crossed because we don't want to lose our precious Gastrodon. And I have a weird feeling it's going to wake up here. I don't know why. No, it's still asleep. Let's go. Gastrodon clutching up here in match number three, putting that Miraidon to sleep. Everything working out perfectly. There's the match. We go 2 and 1 for today's video. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. Storm Drain, Gastron, and Calyrex thriving out here in all three matches. We ended up losing the first match due to a little bit of wide guard action, but we made it up in match number two and three, picking up wins in both those battles. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread the positivity today, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.